Hey, welcome back to my channel, Engineer Mojo. Today we're going to be talking about how to test the relay and if you find failure, how to go about replacing it. And as always, let's get started off fast. Tools you'll need are the multimeter, and your multimeter must have the ability to measure continuity. This is that Wi Fi symbol looking thing. I'll go into that a little bit later. Alligator clips. This makes it a little bit easier to test the main relay. You need two positive negative first thing we will do is locate the main relay just go to your driver's side sorry for the mess I need a vacuum go near your hood latch assembly to the left of the car you'll see right above that a gray box usually it's gray if it's aftermarket it may be a different color kind of a burgundy connector this is your main relay only attached with one trusty 10 millimeter bolt thank you Honda Acura now that you have located the main relay Next thing I'm going to show you is two ways to test the functionality of your main relay. One is quick, one is not so quick. Uh, the quick way is you actually want to just take your keys and you want to take your hand and you want to feel the main relay. You want to put your hand on there and as you're turning the key through the stages of one, two, three, you'll see on your, on your ignition, it'll have one, two, three usually on there for the stages of the ignition. As you turn it, each click, you should feel a click on the main relay. So one, click, two, click, three, start, click. Now when I say click, you will feel it. You will feel it. If you don't feel it, that means it could be a possible issue with your main relay. And further testing should be taken. I'll show you the second way to test the main relay. I'll go ahead and start removing the main relay. I have now removed the 10 millimeter bolt, the Mitsuba is the OEM manufacturer of your main relay. If you can't get a Mitsuba product, please do. But if you can't, aftermarket is fine. Now from here, all you need to do is depress this clip right here. You press it down and you pull the connector away and you should be able to pull this right off. You should note if you're using a flathead screwdriver, just be gentle on the clips. Uh, it's nice to use to be able to pry a little bit on the clip after you depress it in but you could run the risk of breaking the clip, which wouldn't be fun. And it's out. With the main relay removed, now we can start the second test to see if it's good. And the second test involves testing the continuity within the main relay. And so with that, you'll need a multimeter. You'll need some kind of alligator clips, which I showed you earlier. And of course, you'll need your main relay now to make this easier because we'll have to take these clips connect them to the battery on one side and the other side connect it to different points with on this main relay to make that easier for yourself because it's hard to get in there with just regular clips i personally use these female wire connectors and what i do is i find some and i take off the plastic piece that's on top of here now these are 14 to 16 gauge female wire connectors. They work perfectly for these main relays. I take off the plastic, pop it right on, and that way I have a nice surface to clip the alligator clip to. For those of you not too familiar with continuity, it's a very simple concept. It's just measuring whether there's a complete path a circuit or electron can take. Make sure your circuit doesn't have any breaks in it. It's easy to test with a multimeter. You're gonna look for a Wi-Fi symbol. I call it a Wi-Fi symbol. It just means continuity on multimeter. These three or four bars right there. You just wanna turn your multimeter to that location. It's a very easy way to tell whether you have continuity and the multimeter will let you know. See right now I'm touching the two testing prongs so I'm completing a circuit I'm creating continuity and the multimeter is beeping so that's how you know whether or not you'll have continuity in your main relay as you see here now everything is set up I have the two alligator clips positive and negative hooked up they're hooked up to the main relay as I showed you down below in the video description I lay out where to put these clips uh, on the first test, I had the positive hooked up to six, the negative hooked up to eight. So I'll just set this back, just make sure they don't touch. And then I also have my multimeter set up, ready to go. 
I'm gonna go ahead, turn it to continuity. Remember, that's the Wi-Fi looking symbol. Let's move this a little bit so you can see a little clearer what I'm doing. Now remember what you're looking for is the beep to know that there's continuity. You hear the beep. We'll do a first a little test run to make sure that the clips are working in the right spot. So they are. Let's move this. As you see there, I'm touching the other two. There is continuity there, so that's a good sign. Here's a closer view of what I did. Put your prong on one, prong on the other. You hear the beep. That means in this particular circuit, it's good to go. Now you just have two more circuits to test out. So I didn't want to waste your time and show you the other two circuit tests because it's pretty much the same process. Just repeating, all you're doing is changing the location of the prongs and down below in the video description as i say again i lay out that step-by-step -step process of where to put your prongs to test continuity very simple process set them listen for the beep and keep going to the next test if you come across one of the circuits of the three there's only three tests you have to do and you don't hear a beep then you know your main relay is most likely the issue uh, of why you do not have a signal to your fuel pump or and it's no big deal if your main relay is not working at least you found out it's not it's very simple to buy a new one it's only fifty dollars not too bad uh, if you want to attempt to fix it yourself you can all you have to do is there's a couple clips on there you can pop off and take the great cover off and you'll be able to see the circuitry behind your main relay and usually if you resolder one of those connections it'll start working there's a couple videos on youtube that you can see this done pretty good so I advise you if you do want to go that route if you find that your main relay is not working please YouTube it uh, support the other channels and but if you're like me and you don't have time for that uh, so you can just spend the fifty dollars and, and buy a replacement one as always thanks for watching the video like subscribe if you liked it please share your comments and most importantly let me know of any tips to make this job easier I love those as well thanks again Mojo.